So, back for another VGC guide, and this time we are looking at Smeagol. This is probably one of the most awkward guides that there is to do, because Smeagol learns essentially every single move. So, you can just tailor Smeagol to exactly what your team needs. You've got every single move available. However, there are some absolute standout moves for Smeagol. So that's basically what I'm just going to go through here. These are what I would think would be the best moves to have on Smeagol. Obviously, every single other move is viable if it fits your team. But... Spore is probably the one thing that's guaranteed on Smeagol, because Spore is such a strong move, and only a few Pokemon get access to it. Like, having 100% accurate sleep is super busted, and at a reasonable speed tier as well. Like, this is outspeeding out all of the middling speed Pokemon and getting the Spores off before they attack. So, Spore, I would argue, is mandatory. Some people go with Lovely Kiss, like in previous generations when Safety Goggles was a thing. Um, and also because you can uh, Lovely Kiss Grass types. You can get around Safety Goggles and Grass types with Lovely Kiss. Not worth the 75% accuracy, in the slightest. I don't know why people did it. Spore is way better, way more consistent. Just deal with the Safety Goggles and Grass types in other ways. So, Spore pretty much mandatory. The protecting move, Burning Bulwark is not bad. However... You can get status through it, so you can get taunted straight through your Burning Bulwark, which is a bit awkward, and also has a bit of anti-synergy with Spore, which is what you want to be going for. Because if you burned a Pokemon, you suddenly can't Spore it anymore, and then even though they aren't doing as much damage if they're a physical attacker, they're still attacking, whereas Spore stops them. So I would lean more towards Spiky Shield instead of Burning Bulwark, uh, because this is just the consistent, this will protect you from everything, and get that little bit of chip extra on top of it as well, so... Uh, I wouldn't go with Burning Bulwark if I was running Smeagol. But this is one of the big things that I think Smeagol was... Um, uh, that is, Smeagol can make the most of. Instruct, because only Oranguru gets Instruct. So basically signature moves that are on Pokemon that are fine um, are going to probably be the best moves for Smeagol to learn. Instruct, really, really good with Follow Me as well. Because you can just set up with your other Pokemon if you go just for Follow Me. If Smeagol is still around, suddenly you get two attacks with your setup Pokemon. So you've effectively set up twice. Which is really, really nice. Uh, follow me is also, on Sash Smeagles, should kind of be mandatory as well. Felt like, follow me and Spore are such busted moves that they're going to be on most Smeagles. And then, you don't actually need Protect, you can have a load of other things. I think that Instruct is one of the strongest moves that Smeagle can have, because it's got no stats at all. It does not do damage. So, finding ways for Smeagle to actually do damage is quite a nice thing um, that Instruct can do. Because it just t turns the Pokemon that you are very much hard supporting with Smeagle... And they get to attack twice. So you're going to get potentially just two knockouts on one turn. Which is really nice. So here are some other moves that I would recommend on Smiggle. This is not a recommended move set. These are just going to be other moves I recommend. Like I said, signature moves. Stone Axe. Set Stealth Rocks. That's alright. Like it will do a tiny bit of chip and break Focus Ash. But it will set Stealth Rocks as well. And that's pretty good. Uh, fake Out is very good to help in, uh, enable setup as well. Like Fake Out and Follow Me on the same Smiggle. Absolutely worthwhile. Like, that's going to help set up Pokemon a lot. Sm like, Smeagol really should be put with set up Pokemon because it's one of the best enablers there possibly is. Uh, Salt Cure is also a very good attack for Smeagol to have if you were just wanting to do damage because this will consistently chip away at the opponent. Like, we've seen what Garganackle can do and we saw it in the regulation A, how annoying that was. If Smeagol just gets off one Salt Cure, that would be pretty sweet as well. So, um, Tailwind, doubling your speed. We all know how good Tailwind is, so that's going to help uh, enable your other Pokemon. Like, Smiggle is an enabler, and doubling your, uh, all your Pokemon speed is going to be very, very enabling indeed. Uh, some more ones. Wyguard, going to keep you safe from the spread moves. So, Follow Me and Wyguard is a very good combination, because Follow Me, you redirect the single target attacks, and Wyguard, you protect from the, uh, the spread attacks. Transform is a way of giving Smiggle a way of doing damage, because you turn into something that can do damage. So, that's a, a pretty good way of using Smiggle too. Silk Trap is worth a mention. I would use it over Burning Bulwark if you are going for not Spiky Shield. Uh, you can be uh, status through Silk Trap as well, but minus one speed is actually not too bad. Decorate's a really good attack as well. I, I would consider Instruct and Decorate on, on like on par, because Instruct kind of does the same thing that Decorate does, because it doubled the damage output of the Pokemon. But Decorate does that for every single turn afterwards as well. So uh, Decorate is not too bad, and it's much faster than Alchemy, so it's actually going to be in a reasonable speed tier to kind of get the attacks off. Uh, it could be faster to be able to get the Decorates, but uh, that is also a very strong attack. But if you want to go fast and get your Decorates first, it is fast enough to go Choice Scarf. 
So 139 speed is just about enough to outspeed uh, Chien Pao and Fluttermane uh, without uh, booster energy on the Fluttermane and all that as well. But those are the important ones. Obviously, other Choice Guard Pokemon will outspeed you. Tailwind Pokemon will out outspeed you. But this outspeeds actually most relevant things. So you'll be able to get the fast decorate off. You'll be able to get those super fast spores off. And then there, here's just a couple of extra things. Like all of these are very good on um, Scarf Smiggle as well. But Glaciate is probably the best attacking move you could go for with Smiggle. It's just Icy Wind. It's Kiram's signature move, but it's just a tiny bit stronger. Uh, you could go with Technician Icy Wind if you did want, because uh, I haven't even mentioned about Moody. Moody's a stupid ability, uh, but yeah, it, it's... It can, it can save your Smeagol a lot of times if you get a defense or a special defense boost. It's a good thing that evasion is no longer a, a, a boost that you can get. Um, but after you, gonna uh, be able to pair up with some uh, slower Pokemon. Just get them moving first immediately. Like Glaciate's good speed control. After you is one of the best speed controls because it literally, if you're faster, your slower Pokemon are just moving next. So that could be quite nice on Smeagol as well. But like I mentioned, any of these moves could also fit on Scarf Smeagol. Sash, Sash Smeagol is definitely going to be the most common. There's so many other things I could say about Smiggle, but because there's so many possibilities, as in, like, minus three moves, I think, which I think is worth mentioning, Revival Blessing is not sketchable. That's a big saving grace. Because if Revival Blessing was sketchable, that would absolutely be on Smiggle, because that's one of the strongest moves to ever exist. And the fact that Smiggle can't use it, that's probably a good thing.